Hey, beer tubers! I'm gonna open up the long awaited or semi long awaited beer just because I've been looking forward to it and I'm kind of impatient, you know. Uh, I'm gonna be opening up the Black Racer IPA by Bear Republic. Now, this is basically a dark version of their really well known, very good Racer 5 IPA. So, basically, what they did with this is they added crystal malt and roasted malts to just add a few more layers of flavor. So, you basically have this stout or a black beer, and then they hopped it up, so it's a dark, hoppy beer. They also call it a Cascadian Dark Ale. So I've been really looking forward to opening this up, so let me go ahead and open it up, and I'll show you guys how it is. Okay, opening up the Black Racer. Here we go. Oh. And today I'm going to be using the Brewery Tulip Glass. I think this is always nice to use. All right, and I am smelling it here already. I could definitely tell it's gonna be more of a roasty type of black IPA. Now, I've had some black IPAs. There's two general differences that you get, two different styles of uh, black IPAs that I've been experiencing. Certain ones are more on the, more on the malty side, so it brings out more of the hop character, uh, whereas the other one, they kind of Add, add, make it basically a roasty beer, like a roasty stout, and then they hop it up, so it just kind of gets a little more on the very kind of strong side in that way. So let me go ahead and uh, check this thing out here. Sure enough, it's all dark, not see-through at all. And let me check the aroma. Yeah, you know, it's this is definitely more uh, slightly on the roasty side, but it's not too roasty, which is cool. Um, it's my preference, because I tend to like the black IPA is being more on the multi, multi sweet side, so it showcases the hops more. But even though you do smell the roasty malts, for sure it's there, but the hops are present. You could definitely smell the citrus character, which I tend to have a harder time just a bit uh, when, when you have a very hoppy beer to get citrus notes from a dark beer. And yeah, I'm definitely getting some resiny characters too. Uh, yeah, some pine as well some piney characters, and almost an earthy character as well, and that's, that might be just added with the combination of the roasted malls and the hops. So, really looking forward to this, the Black Racer. Come pipe. Mmm, that's really nice. So, right off the bat, you definitely get hops. Right up front, you get the citrus, uh, pine characters from the hops, and immediately, you get the roasty, uh, dark beer character in it, and so you get you get bitterness and sort of the bitterness from the roasted malts, but then uh, the the texture of it is actually quite creamy, like like a creamy stout. Um, that's that's one thing that I really like about this. The texture of this is uh, surprising, just because when you have bitter hops, you know West Coast bitter hops, and then the roast, you can't really expect something creamy initially. That's what I thought, but I was like, wow, the texture is really nice. Uh, and then the sweetness of it, you definitely get this the chocolate character from the roasted malts. Um, and, and from the crystal as well. Just a really, really nice, sweet character. And then the finish is ends dry and bitter, so it doesn't kind of end with some sweet, syrupy kind of uh, aftertaste. Uh, this is really nice. And, and interestingly enough, it definitely has sort of that Russian Imperial Stout character. Uh, and that, that might be it, it because, because it is 8%. So this qualifies as an Imperial Stout or an Imperial Black IPA. Uh, but it has that character where you do have some creamy taste and some salty character that you do get a bit, you know, just very, very slight from Russian Imperial Stout styles. So my final thoughts on this beer, I'm going to give this a solid A. Just, I mean, maybe partly is my preference because I'm, I'm not really too into the roasty and hoppy stuff, but, you know, it, I generally respect that. Uh. But the, the uh, Black Racer it has a combination of both. You know, you got the roast is there, but it's not too roasty, so it like leaves you with this kind of like burnt coffee kind of taste. But uh, it's it's also not just only hoppy either, and just the sweet malt backbone. Uh, it's got a just quite a variety to it. It's very interesting. Has a nice arch to the flavor profile. Um, this is a solid black IPA. If you could get a hold of this. I'm hoping they distribute it more, if not in the future. I highly recommend it. So, it's an A for me for the Black Racer by Bear Republic. Highly recommend it. And it's not bad price for an 8% Black IPA. It's what, uh, $6.99, so 7 bucks. That's a pretty good deal. So, anyways, thanks so much for watching, and I'll see you guys in the next beer blog. Come by.